the 30,000 foot view, mm -hmm. what's your exam going to focus on? You're going to get some baselines and you're going to look to see, can you make a change? Yes. So this is how my exam usually goes. I want to get their, their resting symptoms. I want to know if they have any symptoms immediately just sitting right in front of me. If they have anything and I feel like it's lumbar related, I'll have them just do a quick postural correction just so that we can start creating this relationship between spinal movement and symptoms. And so let's say just for example, just sitting in front of me, if she had any kind of knee pain, if there was mm, notable knee pain, something else familiar, notable. And I'd say, okay, sit up, just sit up super straight for me, kind of overdo it and now back off a little bit. And then I'd say, okay, go back and revisit it. Let's say you called it a one out of 10. Is it still a one out of 10 after sitting up and then, you know, just adjusting your posture? And if they would say, well, if they say no, okay, great. If they say yes, then that opens the door for, for some communication, for some education. Say, okay, did we move your knee at all? No, okay, then how did your knee change? Hmm, I'm not sure, right? It gets them questioning. So, and then as soon as they start questioning, then it's like, okay, well, let's take a look at what we did move. We moved your spine and we had some sort of effect on your knee. Now we're creating that relationship between spine and knee. And, but let's say it didn't move, okay or change it all. That's fine. So that's the first test. And then I'll go through my usual, while they're sitting in front of me, my usual battery of, I'll check strength, reflexes, neural tension, isometric hip flexion, because usually there's isometric hip flexion is uh, correlated with uh, lumbar derangement is what uh, Mark Miller and his colleagues found with IMC. Mm -hmm. So you're doing that with every lumbar patient, you're checking isometric hip flexion. Yeah, I am. And then after I do that, Month after month, new guest experts sharing actual patient cases and subscribers sharing their own challenging and interesting cases. Check out Case Conversations at MechanicalCareForum.com.